you say, well now what's the right thing to do? I say back to you, why are you looking for the right thing to do? And then you have to consider your situation, where you are. You say, well I'm looking for the right thing to do because I feel that I'm in the wrong situation. I don't have peace of mind. Why do you want peace of mind? Because my mind is disturbed. Then in other words, you as a disturbed mind are trying to find peace of mind. Your quest for peace of mind is the same thing as having a disturbed mind. Now if you don't have a disturbed mind, you won't ask for peace of mind. Well, how can I quiet my mind? Why are you asking to quiet your mind? Because it's disturbed. You see where you are? So in this way, by this dialogue, the, the guru, the teacher, brings a person back to center. So then this is the point. All Buddhist teaching is a dialogue. Really and truly, the man who goes out and leaves society and becomes a monk is a little bit too much. Buddhism involves this act as a preliminary gesture. But what it comes to in the end is the position of what's called a bodhisattva. A bodhisattva means somebody who went out of society, or we should say gave up the world in some way, the, the, the robe, took on the discipline. He found what he was looking for, but his finding it was absolutely simultaneous with his coming back into society. And he's called a bodhisattva, as distinct from a pratyeka buddha, which means a private buddha, one who goes out and doesn't come back. And the bodhisattva is considered as having a superior attainment, superior insight.